Hey guys, got a cool, cool thing I want to talk about today. Uh, sponsor of this video is Clan HQ. And if you guys are unfamiliar, what Clan HQ is, is a messaging app. But what is amazing about it is that it has tons and tons and tons of cool features, including integrations for all your favorite games. It makes it even easier to find people you go they have this tab right here recruiting you click on this you can look around there's some ads here looking for members looking for groups but then it gets really crazy you click on the search you go ahead in here and you say oh this just looks like a regular search but bam you pick marvel strike force come in here and you can look for people based on all of these values so imagine imagine being able to find somebody who say man i just want somebody who's above 3.5 million total collection power and you don't even have to like get them to send you screenshots or anything else. You just type it in here and it pulls up the whole list. It is amazing. If you're interested in this, I think it is amazing. And you guys want to get in on it, please do. It is uh, Clan HQ, got it on Android and Apple products. They're amazing. Hey, yo, guys, what is up? I uh, hope you're doing good today. Yo. We're going to be talking about my favorite Blitz teams right now because so many teams have come out, and I just want to talk about the favorite Blitz teams that I have. I try to do this video about once a month because it seems like it changes, and there's all kinds of new combinations and different things to do. So we're going to talk about this, and I hope that you guys like it. And if you don't, I'm sorry but also I'm not sorry because I like them. So I finally unlocked Ghost Rider last second yesterday, like two hours before the milestone ended. I have no idea. I guess I had either really bad luck or something. I don't know. I'm really enjoying this team. They're so fun. Like they just seem like, I don't know, maybe because I don't have Elsa on the team yet, it seems like they don't deal a ton of damage. My Ghost Rider is also the weakest character on the team, so I guess that makes sense too. But it's like, this team is fun. Like, they feel good and fun, and they feel like, they feel beefy. And maybe that's just because they heal a lot, but like, I don't know. Like, they just feel good. Now, I have Loki in here right now. That's just the guy that I was using yesterday, but obviously Elsa will fit in that spot. Loki doesn't do good DPS. He's more of a utility support character, uh, other than his, like, uh, his mind trick whatever ability that obviously does some damage so there's not really a ton of damage on this team i mean I have big red stars on mordo so he's really strong and so it's kind of like well okay so that's why i need elsa i don't have her unlocked yet i have had i've opened two of her orbs already and i have, don't have i still haven't unlocked her so just bad luck right now but hopefully soon i will get her done maybe later on today if i'm lucky or tomorrow but i guess we'll find out so, but with this team, I really like, you can use Loki, or I like to use Carnage, because debuffs, and Carnage doesn't really have a home right now, and so it's pretty fun to use this team in Blitz. I mean, they're just, they're a fun team. So if you haven't used them yet, like if you have them, use them. I don't know, that seems like an ignorant statement. I'm sure you guys are using them if you have them. So, but I really like this team. It's it's just been good. Um, they have sustain, they've got healing, I mean, healing, healing damage healing damage healing and then you know so we need more damage so it's pretty crazy i i don't know they're just a fun team so supernatural is really really fun that's one of my new favorite teams new favorite teams right now so i definitely talked about these guys before um, but i want to talk about them again now that i've been playing with them for a little while uh, fantastic four is awesome and i don't know thanos is interesting because on this team his passive isn't that important and what I mean by that is, is that I have like T4s on his passive. So, you know, whatever. So I get like all the extra energy and stuff, but it's not really all that important. He's just really good to be like a beefy, like tank character who can't have his taunt dispelled because I mean, these characters are kind of squishy. Uh, Human Torch and Mr. Fantastic are especially squishy and they're at lower like gear because I ran out of bio gear. But uh, Invisible Woman, she's great. I really, really like her. Uh, I think I've talked about her a good bit to you guys, but maybe I'll, I mean, shoot, I could even, I could make a whole video on her. She's awesome. She could really fit into, like, any team, it seems like. So, this team is just, I don't know, it's good. I've enjoyed them. I've used them in War a lot. And without Namor, my Namor's weak. I don't really care about Namor. Maybe I should power him up, though, um, because 
he's already pretty good, or this team's good without him, so I imagine what it would be like with him. If you guys have used Namor, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. I just couldn't get behind leveling him up because I just, I don't know, there's some characters that we get, and I'm just like, I don't care about this. That's how I was with Psylocke for a while, and I'm kind of like very slowly, passively leveling her and gearing her up now. But like that's how I felt about Psylocke, that's how I feel about Namor, it's kind of how I felt about Colossus for a while. Because it's hard when they're not farmable and like the gold stars do make a big impact on them, at least with Colossus I felt like, and Psylocke. But I don't know, maybe not with Namor. Let me know what you guys think. But I just pulled a four red star on my thing yesterday with my elite orb, and so that's pretty lit. Um, he's beefy, he's like four star and has four star tier 10 and has 135,000 health, so that's pretty dope. It's pretty hard too. You know, this team overall, they're just fun. They work good in Blitz. They work good in War. I use them in Raids sometimes too. Now, they don't really have good healing. They have no healing. And so sometimes I will put like, I don't know, like a healer in there, Minerva, uh, not Mantis, but like some, I put Night Nurse with them. And they kind of work. They kind of work. They kind of work. So obviously when this rework came out, I was pretty on the fence about this team. And I think everybody probably was a little bit. But, you know, playing with them now for what's it been a month or so, they're really, really good. Um, and I think... You know, Graviton's crazy, but I think what's also kind of come out of this is just kind of the rise of Scientist Supreme, it seems like. And so I want to talk about that a little bit. Graviton's amazing. I really, really like him. I think he could be used in like uh, meta teams in like arena and stuff, but just nobody can farm him up. So it's kind of pointless to put him in there because he'll just be too squishy. Uh, but yeah, great, great team. Uh, I like using them in Blitz. I mean, they're solid, right? Like I can trust that they're going to win, which is nice. Uh, Graviton, I've recently realized just how much damage he can do with his basic and with his ultimate. Uh, mine is not that strong. Tier 10, two, three star, uh, two red stars. And I used his ultimate on somebody who had like five debuffs or something the other day, which is not uncommon, especially if you're fighting like Brotherhood or something. And his ultimate hit for over 130,000 damage. I one-shotted, uh, I don't remember who the character was. I think it was Magneto. And I one-shotted him. And, like, that's crazy. Like, imagine him being at seven gold stars and, like, three or four red stars, tier 13, maybe with some T4s on that ultimate ability. Like, that's wild, 130,000. I mean, that would have to at least double or triple. And, I mean, nobody hits for that much damage, you know? The most I've really seen damage-wise is around 150,000. So, and that's, you know, that's crazy. Crazy numbers. And, uh, you know, I take that back. I think Storm, I've seen the biggest numbers from her. I've seen 30,000 from her on her charge, her Storm. And that's when she has 10, you know, full charges. Not 10, but full charges. Uh, you know, the enemies have defense down. She got offense up sort of stuff. Like, whatever. And so, like, that's crazy. And um, these numbers are just wild for such low, low tier and stat characters that I think it'll be interesting to when they get you know, built up. We're going to see what that's like. Scientist Supreme, on the other hand, like I said, she is, I don't know. I think she's kind of like gotten a little bit of rise because people are using her now a bit. She's being geared up a bit. She's being used in Ultima 7. I've seen with a lot of teams because a lot of the teams have a lot of debuffs that go around and it's like, well, what are you going to do? Well, you can flip them. And that's super good because it really just, it messes those teams up. It's good because a lot of the teams are just debuff heavy and it's just, it's, it's hard, but it works. I know like a month ago, this was just like all I talked about was Sinister Six, <laughs> but I just wanted to talk about them real quick uh, because I still really, really like them. And the more I've learned how to play them correctly, the more that I've just really, I mean, not that it's hard to play them correctly, but I think I fixed positioning a little better since last time because I put Rhino in the middle and I think I had him on the side before, um, but that way he can cleanse more stuff. Uh, with his taunt ability but this team is still a lot of fun and i think that they're really strong i used them in war yesterday and i punched up about it was like twenty thousand power but it was like not like a city team and um usually they if they punch up it's against a city team but i, I just realized that like i don't know that they, they're good i would i guess but what i'm getting at is what i'm trying to say like uh, they were good and i was impressed with that and i was like oh like these guys are actually solid like they do good work and so I think we all knew that at least, but as the rise of their gold stars kind of come around, I mean, so I've got Green Goblin at seven, seven, I've got Vulture at seven, I've got Rhino at seven, then I've got uh, Shocker at six, and I've got Mysterio almost at six. And I just realized as the stars have kind of gone up that, you know, they've obviously gotten better, but like they're, form they're much more formidable. So I just wanted to just you know, just this is kind of like a bonus team because you guys already know that I love this team. But this team's a lot of fun. I really like them. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I was curious if they're going to add uh, 
like Doc Ock one day because he could go into this team, I guess. I'm not sure. Or if he would go to the original Spider-Verse team, I'm not sure. But it would make sense because he was in charge of Sinister Six. And also, this is only five characters for Sinister Six. So, I don't know. It would be interesting to see. But that's all. That's, that's all. I like them. And I just wanted to say that I like them. All right, guys. That's all I've got for you with this video. It's just a couple teams that I've been playing a lot with recently that have stood out to me. You know, we have all the standard teams, you know, Brotherhood, Shield, X-Men, whatever. I just, I don't even really honestly enjoy playing with them that much anymore. It's kind of just like put them in auto and just keep going because it's just kind of whatever. So I got to get to work because I, you know, work jobs and stuff. Um, so appreciate you guys. Uh, quick shout out. Thank you guys uh, who wished me a happy birthday this week. Um, it was my birthday on Tuesday. So thankful for you guys. Much love, my friends. Um, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Leave me a comment with your favorite Blitz teams right now. And uh, leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. <laughs> All right. Got a blast. Woo!